Joe in real life. So my lady and I had a date, light, date night last night and went and saw Dune Part 2. And man, as a fan of the books, what an absolute triumph this has just been. Like, uh, you may not know the lore of Dune, but it's, uh, it's an ecological sci-fi, meaning that, you know, the, the science fiction aspect takes place with nature more so than technology. In fact, it makes a deliberate effort to downscale the technology in favor of ecological kind of, t uh, I almost called it a technology, but it borders on magic, you know? Uh, it might even be full-blown magic, you know? The kind of the mastery of the human machinery and mastery of natural machinery over, say, just technology for technology's sake. Um, it's an incredibly brave vision, and the books were often considered unfilmable, um, attached to some huge director names, you know, Lynch and Jarowski, um, with like their their prior movies are kind of like heroic failures. I mean, there are things that I like about both of them. Um, I think there's even a third version that somebody tried, but I but I'm not familiar with it. Anyway, this modern retelling is proving that that was essentially a myth. It's not only filmable, but uh, infinitely filmable. And I think where he has exceeded his predecessors is he's really just focusing on this sort of the beauty of the desert, you know? In much the same way that Jaws focuses on the enormity of the ocean. Um, and that that's ultimately where the horror comes from. The shark is terrifying, of course. But what's ultimately terrifying about it is that you're surrounded by water in every direction as far as you can see. You know? It, it's not the shark so much, but that escape is impossible. Um, and the ethic in Dune is not quite that on the nose, but there is a sort of insurmountable vastness of sand. Um, and a lot of the cultural notes are hitting, you know, like, um, the Dune planet feels very much like how we might imagine uh, the Taliban or Afghanistan, you know, and, and, is a, and is able to put a human face on it without supporting, like, terrorism somehow, which, <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to throw my hat in the ring about uh, the Middle East. I'm not interested in doing that. But it is interesting that he's able to thread that needle, you know? And the, um, our tradies are, are kind of like the West, just thousands of years in the future. And the Harkonnen are kind of like what we kind of bastard imagine hybrid of like Nazi Germany spanning over to, you know, Soviet Russia, Stalinism, just taken to an extreme, you know, right down to their heavy discipline and like undercurrent of fetish culture. Um, not dissimilar from Star Trek in that the various races represent aspects of culture on Earth taken to, I almost said a logical conclusion, but it isn't overly logical, you know? Uh, Herbert did much the same with Dune, but they're all human cultures, but they've been, they've explored space and inhabited different planets. And, and allowed their best and worst aspects to go forward unchecked. Um, just a beautiful movie. We had such a good time. And I can't say enough good things about it, you know? Go see Dune. It's well worth the three hours and change runtime. 
Uh, after the movies, uh, oh, for dinner last night, I had candy, popcorn, and Mr. Pib. So that was bad for me. Uh, <laughs> and then I came home and I squatted. And I didn't film it. I apologize. I, I had it in me to do a workout, but I didn't have it in me to film. Now, I don't know why that is sometimes. It's usually at night. This is just my warm-up today. I put it at two times speed. I did a little yoga. And I'm going to do a little something else, probably some kettlebell swings. But first, I'm going to do this voiceover, have a little chat with you all about Dune. Um, I'm sore today, but it's not, I'm not destroyed. And overall, I'm just feeling good about life. You know, I'm a little overworked right now. But that's it for complaints. Like, I'm happy. And that's... <laughs> That's a good feeling. You know, I had some suspicious activity on my bank account. And I was like, Jesus, did I get hacked again? This is like the fourth time this year. And I went on and um, $200 was added to my account from my new employer. I don't exactly understand why, but Jesus, what a nice shift that is, you know? What a... <laughs> You know, $200 isn't really a lot of money, but it's also not nothing. And what a nice change and what a nice statement of the of these new times. Anyway, this is Joe in real life. I love you guys. Be good to each other today. Uh, something real tomorrow.